Okay, Tuesday morning we're in La Trang. Sunny, sunny morning. The 880 just arrived at the marina about two hours ago. So just for context, uh, Nha Trang is about a 10 hour drive north of Ho Chi Minh. Um, there's not really any good opportunity to go sailing in Ho Chi Minh, it's on a river. So we've uh, put the boat on a truck and he's been trucked up to Nha Trang. Nha Trang is actually a host of the first marina, uh, first coastal marina to be opened in in Vietnam. So we're, we've been lucky enough, even though the marina is not open yet, um, we've been lucky enough that the owners have allowed us to use the marina to keep the boat while we're up here. Uh, so yeah, that'll be a, bit, a little bit of a treat for us to see the marina and uh, uh, comforting knowing we've got some uh, security there. So let's, uh, let's go see the boat. Here we are on the truck in the train. Looking good. So what we've done here is we've carried the 880 on the purpose-built 880 trailer and we have strapped down the wheels and we've strapped it down towards the front of the trailer and that's allowed the, the axles to uh, well, the suspension to still provide some uh, softening to the to the hull because this truck suspension obviously is uh, rated for much higher loads than what we're dealing with here. So just checking out our launch location and a bit of a complication here. The uh, the ramp that the marina is putting in isn't in yet, and they're doing some construction here, so. We have a 100 ton crane. We've got a lift into a gap between a dock and a barge. This is our crane. Big Bertha. We're going in there. Okay, so end of day one, we've got the 880 on the water. But as you can see, the mast's down, and uh, we're waiting for two little mast raising wires which were left at the factory. So when they arrive tomorrow morning, or tonight, actually they'll arrive tomorrow morning when it comes down at 6 a.m., uh, fit those and get the mast up, and we'll go sailing straight away tomorrow. So we're, we're about an hour behind schedule, but Really, everything's looking good. We've done a full leak test, haven't found any leaks. Uh, most of the rigging's been run and the boat's been cleaned and it's looking good. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm taking out the water that uh, I could pay any work. <laughs> trying to see what happens. I look like a lobster. <laughs> you do. I'll do whatever it takes to set me free. So today is going to be the first day that I won't be sailing on the 880. Uh, we're doing a photo shoot today, so I'll be jumping onto a chase boat and I'll be following along and getting some good video and footage for, for uh, marketing purposes. 
Um, we've got a team of our designers coming on board today, along with Mike Reese, our general manager. So they're going to be uh, sailing the boat, having a blast, and we're just going to be capturing it all on film. So we've been sailing the, the 880 now for about three days. Uh, we've had wind conditions from below five knots to up to around 15 knots. Um, we've managed to just get the main hull skimming, skimming along the waterline. Uh, so we're, we're getting very close to her maximum design loads, which is perfect. This is, this is exactly what we're looking for for testing. And throughout the day, the, the conditions have been amazing. We've had light airs in the morning and strong airs in the afternoon. So we're able to go through the process of easing into things and then really starting to push her hard and that's been consistent for the last few days. We have absolutely been blown away. It, this boat is so fun to sail. She's very forgiving. We've stuffed the bows and had very little to no uh, stalling or impact. She's basically just slid back up and you'll notice because of the fine line on the deck, the deck is not very flat at all, it doesn't catch the water as it buries. It just slices back up. Yeah, so look, through the testing process, we found some small things that we want to improve, some sheeting positions that we want to adjust. But in general, the cut of the sail is pretty damn good. Uh, most of the hardware has been fantastic. We haven't really had any breakages. Um, of course, we've, we're putting together a list of improvements that we're going to work on when we get back to the factory. But that's what we came here for. We've been really, really uh, impressed by this process. We're glad we did the, the testing process. Um, but the boat has really held up. I've been working with this uh, 880 design for a long time now and it is an absolute relief and uh, amazement to go out for a sail the last few days. We've, we've really had a blast. The boat has been so fantastic to sail. I think so far, my, uh, after only three days of sailing, this is my favourite Corsair to sail. Okay, so we've just done three days testing up here in the Trang. We've got uh, Antoine and Lucas here from our test team and uh, yeah, we've, we've had a really successful uh, few days. We've put the boat through as much testing as we can, really pressed it as hard as we can. And we've had some sea state to push it through. We've had some nice winds, some gusts pushing us through. And yeah, we, we, we've had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And uh, screecher runs, kite runs, uh, pushed the boat up to 18 knots. And, and part of our testing here was all about checking that the boat can, can handle that sort of stuff. And, and the balance of the boat was just perfect. Uh, very forgiving, but also so much fun. We've just been blasting around the train. It's been, it's been a great time. So we started this design about three years ago, uh, and it's a design that we worked in collaboration with the Yacht Design Collective, so Francois Perus and Roman Scolari. Uh, and we've worked with these guys before on our Pulse 600, our Corsair 760, and now the 880. This is a completely new design from the ground up. So it's taken, it's taken a long time. We've, we've spent a lot of time uh, thinking of new concepts, new ways to do things. You'll notice on the boat, there's a lot of really smart innovations, and we haven't just taken the 28 and put a new package on it. We've really gone through all details. The details of this boat uh, are really well thought out. Everything works, everything is, is aesthetically pleasing, uh, it's functional, and I'm really happy with how everything's worked out of the last few days. We started this project three years ago. We've taken a long time to develop all those little details, but then we've also spent a long time in the construction and development and testing process. We, we've learnt from previous projects that we've done that you just can't, you can't get by without doing thorough testing. And that's on-water testing as well as in-factory testing. So before we got to this stage, we've actually spent a lot of time doing destructive testing. I think we broke something like 15 beams before we came up with the final design to optimise the weight and, and structure of these beams. Uh, likewise, we've done the same process with our rudders, our dagger boards, bow sprit, uh, mast. We've, we've put a lot of testing in place. We've done destructive testing, non-destructive testing. We've built jigs to, to put things under strain and put things under load. And, and a lot of that work has really given us the confidence to come here today, already knowing that a lot of this stuff is going to work. Yeah, we started looking at new projects for Corsair a number of years ago. And we decided to, to start our product development a few years ago with the Pulse 600, which is a smaller model. And really nice, sporty uh, boat, a lot of fun. And we did that because we wanted to bring younger people uh, into trimaran sailing. It's been a really good successful boat and just a fantastic little sports boat. 
And then at that time though, we really knew that we had to redevelop the 28 to replace the 28, which is one of Corsair's most successful models. So, so we started our, our collaboration with Francois Perouse and Roman Scolari on the Pulse, and, we, and we, we enjoyed working with those guys. We had a great experience. The boat performs really well. So we teamed up with, uh, with those guys again to, to develop the 880. And yeah, for three years we've been working on this project and that's the kind of time you need to really develop a, uh, a completely brand new boat like this. And there's so much detail that goes into all of the custom work, all of the folding, there's a, it's, a, it's a big project. So yeah, so very happy that we've uh, now got a boat on the water. We've done some, some testing and uh, yeah, very happy that it's uh, going well.